100% Chelsea, Chelsea 1, Crystal Palace 2. Wasn't great today, mate, was it? Nope. Disappointing, really. Especially after the first five minutes. We started off well, but after that second goal went in, it was just sloppy. Costa, thought, really, I thought Costa should have... How many chances? I don't know how many chances they had. Costa should have gone off, refreshed it, brought Bashway on and gone for it. But no, he tried doing opposite two up front and it paid the price. They stayed behind the ball, defended, and then they ended up winning, which was big, massive points for them. But it doesn't help us out because the longer it, we could have extended it even more. But we just have to wait now until City. How do you feel going into that? I feel like oh, stress is going to build in. It's stressful going into the game, but if we can start off and go at City as much as we can and make sure they don't come as forward as Palace did today, the counters on the counter-attack, and we keep them, score two quick, two, three quick early goals, then, then that'll be the game-changer. But if we don't do that, we know what City's capable of. Look at last year, they beat us 3-0. If, if we're like how we were last year, then it will keep slipping and slipping and slipping. What was the biggest problem for you today? I mean, looking at everything going on, I mean, was, there, was, there was lots of stuff to pick out there, weren't there? The shots, mainly the defence for the first two goals. I do not, for the second goal, I do not know what Courtois was doing. He moved literally the di wrong direction than the Benteke was going. If he would have gone to the ball, and got, he would have picked up the ball off him instead of getting it lobbed over him. And then you just put them, they went to sleep. And after the second goal went in, they just finally decided to wake up. You don't wake up after they've scored two goals. You wake up as soon as they've got an equaliser and you go and get more. Until, until, until he has, he's going to drill it, we all know he's going to mostly drill into him now as much as he can. And if he doesn't, if he get, tells him that, it is, it's, he's going to tell him, we need to do this. He wants it over and done with. We've got big games coming up. We've got like the like, City. Bournemouth ain't going to be easy away from home. It's the biggest games for City, Everton, Man United. Yep. Big Big, games. Biggest games, and include, that in, does include the FA Cup semi-final and, the at, Cup semifinal, and Spurs at, at Wembley, and it is against Spurs. Well, hopefully, if, if Harry Kane returns but not fully fit, hopefully someone can break his legs, finally. Get rid of him, get rid of Adele. Hopefully Deli Ali can get injured by then. And if they, as soon as they slip up and we keep going, then we can easily rub it into their faces and say, listen, we could be, we'll be the best team, in, best team in this division, best team since October, apart from that one loss to Spurs. No one's actually been able to stop us, really, yeah, apart from today. Only not many losses, but it doesn't matter how many times you lose at home. We we just stay where we are. There's no one taking us that off us until at least next year. I've, obviously, from a personal point of view, I think whatever happens around the club or whatever happens with the players, certainly if some of the players don't actually want to be here, you know, they know where the door is. And it, it looks like some of them are slacking a bit. Not mainly Pedro, but it was a big loss that we didn't have Victor Moses today because he would have given it to, he would have gone forward. The crosses were poor. It was just going and going. It was just slipping. And I just feel bad for like the fans. I feel bad because it's that bad of a loss. Everyone, it'd be all over the news. Everyone's thinking, you know, what, what's next for this team?